everybody. Welcome back to the basketball edition of The Huddle. I'm Ruth Lang here with sports editor Mike Brown. And uh, Mike, we had the crosstown rivalry, so to speak, Marlington at Alliance. Mm -hmm. Marlington ended up on top in that one. Can you yeah. break that down for us a little bit? Absolutely. Uh, great game. You know, Marlington's got a, a nice team this year. They've got height. They've got athleticism. Uh, Alliance is young. And Marlington, they'll run like nine or ten guys in and out of the game during the game. I mean, they can play with a lot of guys during a, the course of a game. And that really has helped them. And, uh, you know, Marlington, you know, won the game rather handily. And Alliance is young this year. I think, you know, when they meet in the second half of the year, that may be more along the lines of an Alliance-Marlington game, Ruth, where they're always close and things like that, because Alliance will be more experienced when they meet the second time around. Mm -hmm. And West Branch also came away with a win against mm -hmm. Carrollton, handing them their first loss. Uh, right. For the boys. That's a big win because, uh, you know, West Branch went to the black hole, uh, as Carrollton's gym is known as, and it's hard to win there. And West Branch went down there and, and won rather convincingly uh, a good win. And, and that was without a couple key players who are injured for West Branch. A couple big guys are out right now for the Warriors. So that's an especially impressive win on the road for West Branch. A lot of, a lot of players in that game had double digits, mm -hmm. too. We had um, also... Matt and Miter mm -hmm. had a double double, right? Right, yeah. They had they had quite a few guys. I think they had three or four guys in double figures in that game. And I think because the the people that are out are taller people right now, West Branch was probably able to run a little bit more, make it a full court game rather than a half court game. And in that particular instance, it helped them. Uh, Louisville had two straight wins in a row. They beat Salem Friday night, and then also on Monday they beat visiting Perry, and that's keeping them with a perfect record so far. Yeah, the Leopards are off to a 4-0 start on the season, looking good. Uh, they won the Mayor's Cup game on Monday night uh, against the Perry Panthers, and uh, you know, I, Drew Noble, uh, the big guy in the middle, had a big game. I think he had 27 points in that game for the Leopards, uh, so they're off to a great start in Louisville. Uh, Sebring just had a loss Friday mm -hmm. night uh, to Wellsville, mm -hmm. coming off a win against Heartland Christian. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, what do they need to do over there in Sebring to try to see a few more wins? Right. They lost uh, quite a bit of their scoring to graduation from last year. Uh, so I think it's it's a process for them right now. You know, they're they're going through some growing pains. And I think, you know, they've been competitive. They've been, you know, they've lost some close games so far. And I think hopefully as they go through the season, get a little bit more experience, some of those L's are turned to W's for the Trojans. Uh, switching now over to girls basketball, Sebring girls also coming off a couple of losses. Mm -hmm. Alliance just handed the Sebring girls a loss at Sebring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on Monday night, uh, the Aviators went over to Sebring and, and beat the Trojans 50-40. to 40. And uh, in that game, Turquoise Smith led the Aviators. And I'll tell you what, Alliance has a winning record in girls basketball, which is a great story. I know we've been saying this for years, stay the course you know, built from the feeder program up, and you can see it's starting to pay dividends at the high school level. Alliance has a winning record in girls basketball right now, and that's great uh, for them. They've had a number of girls play well, uh, Turquoise Smith, Caitlin Daniels, Dejana Johnson, and, and there's more, uh, and they're doing a great job, a really good job. Now they did, West Branch did hand Alliance a loss, mm -hmm. uh, but again, West Branch girls, right. they are still unbeaten as well. Right, yeah, they're 7-0 on the season. They're rolling, you know, as we've talked about for a number of years. They're kind of like the, uh, they're the standard to gauge all the area girls basketball teams by. And, you know, their goal was to get to Columbus this year. They, they got within a game of getting there last year. And this is probably, even though their program it will always be good, this, with this particular group, this is probably their last year in that window of opportunity to get to Columbus. Uh, because they're they're senior laden team this year, so and and they're just rolling. You know, I think when the first AP poll comes out at the beginning of the year, Ruth, I think they'll be right up there in the top ten. Um, also, West Branch's Melinda Trimmer mm -hmm. uh, surpassed the yeah. the school all scoring record. Yeah, that's and that's really saying something at that school because you know they've had so many great teams. They've had a state championship team in their past. They've had another team go to state in their past. And they've had some great athletes over the years. And Melinda Trimmer has just surpassed everybody. I mean, that's an ongoing school record, scoring record for her. So she'll continue to add to that. And, you know, we're only a fourth of the way through the season. So mm -hmm. she's just going to continue to add to that impressive mm -hmm. record. Mm -hmm. Also on a roll for the girls, Marlington mm -hmm. uh, beat out the Norton Panthers on Wednesday, beat yeah. out Minerva in a close game um, on Saturday at right. home. Yeah, Terry Rowe is doing a great job with the Dukes. I mean, I, I think Marlington is a, a, they're a player in this NBC girls basketball title chase uh, because, you know, Louisville's a little bit young this year, and, and West Branch and Carrollton are the two, but I think Marlington's right there too, and especially when Marlington's at home, they're a tough out, and uh, they're doing a great job with the Dukes this year. 
All right, and what do we got for our upcoming games? Obviously, with the holidays, we have a little bit of a weird schedule. It really we is. Do you still know, have some action. Sure, because the uh, you know Christmas falls on a Thursday this year, and uh, because of that, you know the middle of the week is usually a, a heavy girls basketball night, so we have no games on Wednesday and Thursday this week. But then on Saturday we have a full slate, and and the marquee game on Saturday, Ruth, would be Marlington going to West Branch, and again going back to what I was just saying. Marlington's got a good girls' basketball team. We know West Branch has a good girls' basketball team. That should be a really, really entertaining game come Saturday in Beloit. And also on Saturday, Ruth, you know, Alliance will entertain the Salem Quakers. And again, that could be a good game because Alliance is off to a winning record. Uh, Salem's, Salem's got a great tradition in girls' basketball, a little younger this year. So, you know, that's going to be a, a game. I can't tell you who's going to win that. I, I would think the way Alliance is playing, they've got a pretty good shot in that one. Uh, and then also on Saturday, we've got an NBC battle. We'll have the uh, Louisville Leopards going to the Minerva Lions. Uh, so and those are two rivals from way back. So that should be a good one on Saturday as well. So, But that, that's pretty much a look at the girls' basketball action for this week. Uh, the boys are playing today yeah. in, the, in the Alliance Christmas Classic right. at Mount Union. Mm -hmm. Do you have any predictions for that, for those yeah. teams, Mike? Yeah, Alliance is playing the Beechwood Bison as we are speaking. Uh, so, and, and Beechwood's a young team. Alliance is a young team. Who knows who's going to win that game? Uh, so we've got that going. And then, again, because of the way the holiday falls, we have very few boys games on Friday night this week. We do have some Saturday games. But one game on Friday in particular, uh, Marlington is going to be in the New Philadelphia tournament down there. And they're going to play the Canton McKinley Bulldogs, uh, which is that's, that's a big step up. Uh, but Marlington's playing well. And, uh, and then Marlington, depending if they win or lose on Friday, they will come back on Saturday in the New Philadelphia tournament. And uh, they would play either New Philadelphia or Hebron Lakewood on Saturday uh, in New Philly. So, and then also uh, an independent game on Saturday night, the West Branch Warriors are going to host the Lisbon Blue Devils. Uh, so that's pretty much the, the action we have going this weekend. And you know, we'll be there. We'll cover it in the paper and online. Um, follow us on our Twitter at AllRevSports. For the huddle, we'll see you next week.